Hey everyone and welcome back to Cora's Creative Corner. I am excited to share with you today my hallway makeover. It has been this lime green eyesore in our house since we moved in and that has been well over a year. So what I decided to do was look around my house and find all of the products that I could find and use to recycle and only spend as little as possible. So total I spent just under $20 for this makeover. First thing I started with was using recycled paint. I had this granite gray, I think it's like a satin base that I got from Walmart and I like it because it's pretty easy to clean up. My kids are pretty messy so anything that has a satin or semi gloss base is nice because you can just take like a wipey to it and wipe off. So I started out with painting everything in the gray color and as you can see like I'll go around and I'll do the like touch ups and stuff with a finer brush like I did here. I used that to get into like these little nooks and crannies because for some reason the, whoever the engineer or architectures were that came up with these cookie cutter homes decided that they wanted about a hundred nooks and crannies in this house. And then next I used this like little flat edge type thing to kind of get it as pretty quickly and straight as I could around the frames of all of the doors because this is what I called the hallway of opportunity because you don't know what each door is going to take you into and so yeah I decided to use this little tool because I found it to be pretty easy to do like just these long straight shots instead of going through and cutting in by hand which is pretty tedious work which is how I kind of did the rest of it that's what I do for the roof like the ceiling edge line anyways. So yeah, that's what this tool looks like. You can pick that up at your local hardware store. I do like it, but you can see that there are some imperfections, but it's pretty good for doing like one of those you know, fast jobs when you don't want to spend hours cutting in around. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five doors in this hallway. So that would have taken a very long time. So then next I'm cutting in with my just larger sized paintbrush doing um, any touch-ups that I need to do, covering as much of that lime green as possible. I think it took me two and a half coats, like I did two full coats and then another half coat of just touch-ups, covering up where there were thicker spots of green. And then next I am using the Grab and Go, I believe it is Onyx Black paint in satin also, and I'm using this to cover my doors. Now. I know you're thinking I'm crazy because I'm covering my doors black, but just give it a chance. You'll see. I'll show you a side by side in a few minutes of what it looks like with a white door next to a black door, just so you can kind of see for yourself if you like that aesthetic. But for me personally, with my kids and their grimy hands, black doors are so much easier to keep clean. And in using this like satin based paint that I am using for the doors, it comes off easily with wiping and using wipes and sprays and whatever. So another reason that I love this paint. And secondly, I had it on hand. Like I've literally had this black can of paint for like five years. I think I redid my dresser in it. I did doors at another home. Every project that I've done where I've used black paint, it's been from this can. So it has lasted me forever. So I spent zero dollars on paint. And then I wanted to keep my rollers and everything fresh. So I wrapped those up in aluminum foil because wrapping that up and sealing it will last you from anywhere from a week to two weeks wrapping with aluminum foil or ceramic. Okay, and then next, I decided that I wanted to kind of spruce up this thermostat area because it's just an eyesore. There's nothing I could do about the thermostat itself. So what I decided to do was repurpose this mirror that I had on hand. I believe it was from like a family dollar frame set or something anyways. So I decided I was gonna reuse the frame. I like the details around the edges and I thought it would be pretty good to go with the hallway look that I was going for. And I'm also gonna save the mirror for another project. Um, I basically just tacked this up with these thumbtacks and I put it around the thermostat. And then next I did these DIY silhouette arts. I actually already had these pieces on hand in my home. They've been used for decorative pieces throughout the house for a while, but I moved them over. But just to show you real quickly, all I did to make these was print out like a profile side picture of whatever you're looking for. For this example, I'm using my son. And then you're just gonna print it out, trace around the little tiny details that you're wanting for the hair you just kind of get a little bump in some of the curls or whatever and when you're done tracing that just cut it out you can use any type of construction paper or colored paper that you like black is the basic silhouette that you see but you could do it in any color you really like here i just did it in the black where i just traced it once i cut that one out i traced it and cut it out of the black and popped it in the frames as you could see there and voila those frames i got at the dollar store a while back but i've had them 
in storage for a while so again that didn't cost me anything and yeah that is that and now I thought that oh here's my daughter walking out with some sass she's got a shirt on that says fierce a black black gloves on and a tiger I mean epic moment she's just so cool anyways so as you can see here's a little before and after the lime green versus what we were working with now and now it was still just missing something but here was the white door versus black I wanted to show you real quick anyway so looking at this it's still kind of missing something so what I wanted to do was sort of direct you somewhere so when you're walking through this hallway and you're like five doors ah, oh, where's the bathroom again and what's the laundry room and yada 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 so I found these reusable letter stencils that I got at Hobby Lobby and I used a coupon I also had some of that recycled paint that I'm using and what I like about these stencils is that you can kind of move them and they have like a little bit of an adhesive to them so you can kind of line them up get them right where you want them and then they stay where you're putting them so like that this is me dabbing on my paint and you can see that the stencils are just staying there until I'm done once I painted it I came and I pulled it off and I mean of course there was a little bit of residue or little spots where I didn't quite keep it inside the boxes but that's fine I just went back with a little paintbrush later on with some black paint and I touched up the little spots where a little bit of the white may have overwent the stencil no big deal came out fine you can't even really tell but so I did that for my laundry room door so that you know pretty much anyone knows where the laundry room is but that also leads out to my garage and I also did it for the bathroom because nine times out of ten if the guests are asking which door is the bathroom you know it's right there so you know you're looking through and this is what it's looking like so far but I don't know I guess I'm just not quite done yet I was looking at it and I was just there's still more looking at the doors basically is what I did every knob is gold if you notice so instead of spray painting those a different color or whatever I left them gold and decided to just go with it but these closet doors just kind of disappeared so at Ace I found these little gold detailed knobs for a buck 29 a piece so I picked up two of those so that accounts for some of my cost and I put those on my closet doors and then I went to Family Dollar and I found these nice little decorative pieces in the gold color also for 10 bucks and I popped those up above the closet doors just to kind of you know add something to the wall there and then there was this little bit of a gap between my closet doors and the laundry room door which I decided that I was going to go ahead and try to fill in that space next with some art pieces that I had from my grandparents they had passed down these um, really cool framed art pieces from an artist that I love that has the top one is the lady's portrait and the bottom one down here is the harmony and I put the artist information here in case you're interested but that was just relocated from another wall in my home so that cost me zero dollars and this is the final look this is what I ended up with and I'm loving it so as you can see I just kind of covered all the eyesores. I took out that lime green, I painted the walls with that gray color, painted the doors black, added some touches of gold to offset the gold doorknobs. I kind of went with that as my theme. I added those stencils to those few doors, covered up the eyesore of a thermostat with the frame, added my silhouette photos, and those candle sconces were relocated also. So that is the finished product and our next project oh if you stay tuned is our entryway we are gutting it and basically redoing this whole entire thing it's getting a makeover just like our hallway just did and so here's a little sneak peek of that and it is currently a work in progress so if you want to see how that turns out stay tuned on our next video also I am having a giveaway and all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and be subscribed to my channel and then go to my Instagram and Facebook channel and give the photo that is attached to this video link a thumbs up and like there as well. So again, all you have to do is follow me on all of my channels on Facebook, Instagram, and here on my YouTube channel, like this photo and this video, and you will be entered into 
the giveaway drawing, which I will be randomly selecting someone to get a DIY starter kit. It is just a couple of items that I feel are just essential for any DIY person just getting started, just the basics. All right, guys, I can't wait to see you on my next video.